Prince Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. I want to talk to you today about the vision and the miraculous, or more particularly, creating with vision and decision, the eye of your mind. In 1933, Hitler appointed Hermann Göring as Minister of the Interior, and his first orders were to defund and eliminate the police department so that they would not interfere with Hitler's brown shirts. The brown shirts mission was to riot, to burn, beat up, and to kill citizens in an effort to sway the elections to ensure their national socialist agenda. Now, today's American socialist leaders want to defund and eliminate the police for the same reason. As we advance into the entrance of the end times, when the future holds pandemics, violence and revolution, economic downturn, and even social displacement, you can be an instrument of God to protect and bless your country. Plus, you can walk in victory spiritually, mentally, and physically. And you can prosper. You can come out victorious, my friend. You will win if you learn and practice the precepts in this teaching. It's my desire that you will use this true concept in every area of your life. Wholeness, healing, power, and prosperity. Make it happen, my friend. Don't let it happen to you. So today, I want to talk to you about the vision and the miraculous. A more specific title would be Creating with Vision and Decision Through the Eye of Your Mind Mixed with Faith. To see with the eye of the mind, that is, to envision, can encompass the following. Imagination, thinking, and decision-making. To cut out with the eye of your mind is to see it, or to think it, upon the tablet of your heart or your human spirit. This will enable you to experience miracles, real miracles, for the glory of God. In Job chapter 22, verse 28, we read, You shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you. In the original Hebrew language, the word decree is a primitive root form of the word yatsar, which means to cut out exclusively, or to decide. In its primitive form, it's used also as a quarrying term, as in cutting out stone from a rock quarry. It means more than to say or to speak. It conveys the meaning of cutting something out in the eye of your mind, that is, to envision, to make a vision, to decide upon it and confess it, and then it will be established unto you. Let me read what Job says again. You shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you. To decree is the progenitor of heart belief and mouth confession. It is both the nucleus and all-encompassing embryo of initiating great moves of the Holy Spirit on planet Earth. That's why we need to spend time meditating the Word of God. Now notice this, we're not talking about New Age type meditation, which can actually be used and energized by demonic forces. We're talking about meditation of God's word and promises so we know how to work in alignment with our Father in heaven, the Lord God of Israel. When we meditate the word of God, we learn his principles. We also learn what he wants. That is what his will is for the nations and for us. We also learn how to please him by living holy and doing his will, reaching people and nations with the truth of Messiah. Then we can decree a thing because we have decided upon it. We've cut it out in our mind's eye. We therefore believe it in our heart. The Holy Spirit has impressed the will of the Father upon our mind and deposited it in our human spirit. We have seen the will of God in our mind's eye and have decided to implement it. We decree it by seeing, by believing, and by speaking. We act on our decision after we have heard from God, and it comes to pass. We plan in the Spirit. We implement in the Spirit. We believe and know that it will come to pass, and therefore we receive it for the glory of the Father. You might want to read in the Brit Hadashah or the New Testament, 
from Mark chapter 11, verses 23 to 24, to amplify what I just said. My friend, faith is wonderful, but it's even better when you have a plan to go along with your faith. Let me say that again. Faith is wonderful, but it's even better when you have a plan to go along with your faith. If your plans fit into God's plans, you will have God's faith, and God's faith always works. And let me say that again. If your plans fit into God's plans, you will have God's faith, and God's faith always works. You can bring miracles and blessing to yourself, to your family, and to your country. Use your faith based upon God's word, envision, decide, and decree. Now in future sessions, I'm going to discuss how we can turn the tide, how to enter into the realm of the miraculous, where historical earth-shaking victories are won by and for the glory of God. And in the show notes of this podcast, I've placed a link to my book, Total Person Toolbox. There you can learn affirmations, truth concepts for every area of your life. Wholeness, healing, power, and prosperity. This has been your friend, Prince Handley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. Baruch Abba Adonai.